Ladies and gentlemen, please accept my sincerest apology for not being able to be with you personally today at the making it count using evidence for accountability. I'm still extremely honored to be able to participate from Nigeria. Many of the wider international community and us here have become increasingly focused on accountability to ensure that commitments within RMNCH are realized. While we recognize the need for better data to inform our accountability efforts, we also understand that global, regional, and national levels have become disorderly with various accountability approaches that are often fragmented or inadequate. The Global Health Visions Report, commissioned by SIF and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is a crucial first step in synthesizing the debate. Political will at all levels of international society is required to ensure the report's key recommendations are utilized as a springboard for action. The Wellbeing Foundation and the Nigeria Experience. At the Wellbeing Foundation, we understand the importance of going beyond data collection and linking it to action and social determinants. We participated in the Measurement and Accountability for Results in Health Summit in Washington, D.C. this year to highlight the advances made through the WBFA Personal Health Record, a client health tool which provides patient data in the hands of expectant mothers, giving them the power to take control of their health records in care. We found that tracking the progress of a pregnancy via accurate patient data and records can help to rapidly identify and treat any preventable health issues that can cause stillbirths. The Perinatal Institute in Birmingham set up the Growth Assisted Protocol, GAP, which works by giving each mother a customized growth chart using her height, weight, at the beginning of the pregnancy, her ethnic origin, and how many children she has had. Using this customized growth chart, mothers can know how large their babies are expected to be for each week in the pregnancy, and if the baby's growth falls outside the expected norms for that individual woman, the mother can be given extra scans to check that the baby is thriving. If there are any issues, the baby can be treated in the womb and carefully monitored until birth. Early access to primary health care and skilled health care professionals in pregnancy is vital to preventing stillbirths and pregnancy complications. Yet, for many families in low- and middle-income countries, the cost of care is still prohibitively expensive, increasing the risk of preventable stillbirth. The cost of primary health care and antenatal treatment varies around the world, with free care provided to mothers in the UK and Norway, two countries with the lowest maternal and child mortality rates. In Nepal, one of the few countries to meet MDG targets on reducing antenatal and maternal mortality. Women are, in fact, paid to attend antenatal appointments and to deliver in a hospital, a huge incentive that encourages health-seeking behavior. The cost of care can cripple families financially for years, resulting in further economic vulnerability and limited access to primary health care, which sets off a cycle of poverty and poor health for generations. Access to free and universal health care is essential to reducing the risk of preventable stillbirth. In countries without a universal health coverage system, access to primary health care can be extremely expensive, pricing out those who need it the most. Inability to afford care is a social determinant of health that must be overcome through the adoption of best practice models, such as the Alafia Universal Health Coverage Fund, the Wellbeing Foundation Africa is introduced in partnership with the Hygia Community Healthcare, a Nigerian health insurance provider, and the Farm Access Foundation of the Netherlands. The AUHCF funds insurance premiums for 5,000 Nigerians each year. This enables patients to access affordable primary health care rather than relying primarily on expensive emergency care. This will in turn have a positive impact on overall health habits encourage healthier home practices and overcome a serious social determinant of health, not being able to afford point-of-care expenses. Our Nigeria experience has taught us that access to patient-owned data and access to primary care are significant means of galvanizing data into action. 
as the GHV report rightly recommends, no matter which approaches we define as crucial to our efforts, we must ensure that we invest in context-specific accountability approaches with civil society in a leadership role. Implementing universal health care is by no means easy, but it is possible through collaboration with the private sector, civil society and local communities, right to the mothers themselves. The Wellbeing Foundation continually calls for improvements in data capture and information in Nigeria through immunization, through birth and death registrations, through scaling up personal health records and mobile health initiatives. Today, we have the opportunity to delve deeper into our experiences and explore evidence collection experience for collaborative decision making and accountability. We really do hope that the outcome of these deliberations will mean a universal approach for universal challenges that can help us move forth boldly. Thank you.